CIK. Professional Precision. Welcome, this is another quick demo from CR Kennedy demonstrating how easy it is to update Uniview recorders and Uniview cameras. So for this demonstration I'm going to be using the Uniview EZ tool software which we'll download from the website when we're installed onto our laptop and I'll be connecting my laptop to the back of the recorder. As you can see everything in front of me is boxed up so we'll be unboxing it as part of the um, demonstration exactly as you would do for a new site. So updates are important. Why? They fix any known issues. Um, they also address or uh, give you additional functionality and features. You don't always necessarily need to do a firmware update every time a new firmware update comes out from Uniview. Um, there are a lot of firmware um, updates. So if the site is already up and running and everything is uh, connected, uh, as the saying goes, if in broke, don't fix it. The reason for this is if you update the MVR, you'll most likely need to update the cameras as well. The reason for this is that generally when you put new firmware onto the recorder, it adds a new functionality, uh, it adds extra lines of code, and when it's addressing the cameras, this can cause um, issues, incompatibility uh, issues, um, and, and problems can arise from there. So if you update the MVR, you're going to need to update the cameras as well. Okay, as part of a new installation, um, I would say you always want to do updates on the NVR cameras as part of the commissioning and part of the installation. So as said, for this uh, demo, I'm going to be unboxing everything here and connecting everything. So uh, first thing I'll do is we'll start unboxing the cameras and the NVR. So as you can see, I've unboxed all my cameras, I've plugged my cameras into the back of the MVR on these PoE ports here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my laptop. So I'll just bring the laptop across. Here's my laptop. I've got the network cable here. And I'm just going to plug into another one of these uh, PoE ports here. So just to confirm, my laptop is plugged into the PoE port, not into the LAN ports. Plugged into the same bank of ports as the cameras. Okay. Right, uh, the first thing we do now we've got everything connected and ready to go is we will download and install the EZ tool software. So for this, we'll go to the uh, Uniview website. So we'll open up our browser, Google Uniview, Thumbs up, go to the Uniview website, and up here we've got our um, uh, main menus. Uh, we want to go to um, support, and from the drop down menu, here you can see tool. That's what we need to uh, download. Click on tool, and here is EZ tools, so we're going to download that. I'm going to save it to my computer. It's a very quick file, it's already downloaded and installed and I'm going to open the file. Double click on it, run the program, and it will now start the installation process. As you can see, I'm just clicking on the options, click next, and install it as per the defaults. And click finish. Okay, our software is now installed. We don't need the um, web page anymore. If we go to start, we can type in EZ Tools and it will open up the software for us. And here's the software. And straight away, you can see all the devices that I can see connected to the uh, network. Now, 
I have actually got my wireless still switched on uh, because I was connected to the internet earlier on when I downloaded that. So I'm going to switch my wireless off now. So the only thing that's left connected to my computer is the network cable going into the MVR that we saw earlier on. So I'll click on refresh and straight away you can see, there we go, it's my wireless disconnecting. Straight away you can see the six cameras, the 322 cameras and the MVR straight away. I've not had to do any configuration whatsoever. And I can see that they're on the 172.16.0.1 network. Okay, so first I'm going to demonstrate the uh, online um, upgrade. So to do this, we um, simply go on refresh. Uh, as you can see, I'm, on, I'm online because I can see all my cameras on the, on the network. These are ones down here that I'm interested to on the 172 network, which are the cameras that are plugged into the back of the MVR that you saw me set up earlier on. So if I select one camera, this is uh, 172.16.02, and I go up to Upgrade, click on it, and you'll see from the drop-down menu, you've got two options, Local Upgrade and Online Upgrade. I'm going to do an Online Upgrade. Ask for the username and password, so I'll just type in the default. It logs in, and straight away it's already telling me that it's already on the latest firmware. If it wasn't, I'll be able to select it there from a tick box, click OK, and it will upgrade the software from there. Okay, so we'll now do a, a local upgrade. Um, this is particularly useful if the recorder where you're installing or the site where you're installing the recorder hasn't got any internet access contact your local dealer they'll put you in touch and uh, send you the necessary files to do a local upgrade so uh, we can use the same software again EZ tools we can select the cameras that we want to upgrade so here you can see I've got um, six five four three I've already done number two I click on upgrade this time I'm going to select local upgrade uh, you put in the username and password You'll see that they'll connect and it'll log in to each of them in turn. And I select all my cameras here. So I can just click on all and it'll select them all. Go to my upgrade file, click on OK. If you want to upgrade the software, and it will now start upgrading it. And as you can see, it's upgrading them all at the same time. This is very useful if you've got a lot of cameras to do. Uh, you can upgrade them all at the same time. You don't have to log into each camera, go to the maintenance and do, do the update. So it's a very, very quick, easy uh, and efficient way of doing multiple upgrades. OK, and finally, we're going to look at upgrading the firmware from the MVR interface directly. So for this, we've got the Uniview interface in front of us here. Um, I'm going to go down to the menu button, which is this little home button down here. And I want to go to maintenance. When I click on this, it will show me the current model and the current firmware version. Click on upgrade. And you can see I've got two options here. I've got local upgrade and upgrade by cloud, which is what we do first. Again, it shows me the current version of the uh, firmware that's on the recorder. So we'll click on check. It will go to the internet. And you can see here, it comes up with a message that the firmware is already on the latest version. If it wasn't, we could just click on upgrade and it will upgrade from there. Okay, so next, as you remember, if I said if you update the recorder, you must upgrade the firmware on the cameras. So let's do the cameras. So again, click on Menu, click on Camera this time, and from the tabs, we want to click on the Advanced tab. This gives us all the information on the models and the current firmware versions uh, on the cameras. If we scroll along, you can see you've got two options again. You can upgrade by disk, or you can upgrade by cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a try and upgrade by cloud. We select our camera, we click on the cloud icon. Again, it goes to the internet, checks to see if there's a firmware available. In this instance, it's already on the latest version. For upgrade by disk, we click on the disk icon, USB stick in the front, you browse the file, and you click on upgrade. That's it. It's as simple as that. So easy to do from either method, whichever you prefer. Hope that's been useful and informative. Uh, as always, please leave your comments below. Fail safe and, thank you for and totally dependable. We supply and support surveillance systems critical to crime prevention that provide safe, secure environments. Bringing you the highest quality equipment for professionals from professionals. CRK Professional Precision.